Fielding High School is a unique high school because we have two school farms, we have a school hostel for boys and girls, and we're a large co-educational general high school. Altogether, we have about 1,500 students here at Fielding High School. We have about 20 international students and about 30 migrant students. In New Zealand, because the primary industry is such a massive industry and it's really part of our country, it's part of our culture, there's huge opportunities for our students to take our subjects going forward to be able to get awesome employment. I chose to study agriculture and horticulture because there's heaps of job opportunities available in the horticulture and agriculture industry. Even if I didn't want to do the practical side to agrihort, I can still do the science and research behind it. Teaching is about building relationships. So I try to really get to know the kids and then once I've built that relationship then we start doing more practical based work to get them really passionate about the subject. My favourite part about studying horticulture is that it's not just about being in the classroom and, and with a book and a pen, it's more of working outside and learning new things. So typical ways that we learn in the classroom are learning with groups and working together. I would say to someone coming from another country or from city schools that our classes are a lot smaller and our teachers are much more hands-on and helping us to get that extra push. I have a really strong emphasis with my primary industries class which is practical, learning new skills, developing new skills and becoming competent. I love my job, I have a really, really great bunch of kids here. Students have to see that your teacher is passionate. If the teacher's not passionate, students aren't going to be passionate. I think they get a lot of enjoyment out of the fact that we do a lot of practical stuff. For example, one of the things we're focusing on is hydroponics. So get the kids out measuring nutrient status, pollinating the flowers, pollinating the plants, and being able to produce a product which they can then eat. We were using the paintbrush to help pollinate the rest of the flowers because the bees don't really like going in the glasshouse. So just giving those flowers just a little bit of an extra boost just to make sure that they don't get some nice strawberries. Our science department has very close links with Massey University. So many of our students have opportunities to link up with the science and engineering departments there to gain experience in future careers in agribusiness, agri-science, pure sciences and engineering. So our students are very lucky that they can study a wide range of subjects here and then have links into those tertiary institutions for future careers beyond high school.